Ifoma. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join us today. Uh, we'll go into the summary, but I'd like you to just give us a recap of trading today uh, at the market, at the fixed income market. Thank you very much for having me, Esther. So trading today has oh, been very, very new. Um, yesterday, I like, closed up business around 6.30, far of about 6.5 billion was paid into the market. But that did little to assuage the liquidity concerns that have been going on throughout this week. Because we also expect um, bond auction debit to take place today. We also expect some um, debit for CDM swap of about 92 billion. So that's going to take out all the. Um, back payments that came into the system. Because of these liquidity concerns, Shady has had a very new in today's market. Uh, how would you describe uh, investors' sentiment so far? I mean, we had the MPC outcome. I was talking to uh, an analyst about the FX, uh, the CBN or the MPC's FX stance, and uh, he was telling me that it didn't seem like the CBN still has a coherent uh, policy or strategy, as it were, for FX going forward. But what, what signal would you say the market received? Well, the market was very um, uncertain before the result of the MPC meeting, although Many people still expected them to maintain the MPC rate, but there was a lot of uncertainty regarding um, their prices. But that said, given priority for market participants is liquidity over anything else, because without um, having money, you cannot trade, you can't do anything else. So all the concerns about the bank and people were trying to fund their, their, um, their liquidity. So that was the main priority for this. You cannot profit making or you know, any other concerns in the market. Now, still on the FX market, we are seeing a gradual depreciation of the Naira at the parallel market, trading somewhere around 485, from around 480 a week or two ago, and at NAFEX INE, I believe 409, 410. Uh, I'm just wondering, are we, should we expect this gradual depreciation to continue, or is, will the CBN be able to uh, adequately defend the Naira and clear up that backlog? Well, I think that some depreciation is supposed to be expected. However, the, the new policies that the CBN brings out every day, the latest one is, you know, incentivizing um, agents who desperate to bring down to um return to to pay in dollars and then you get extra five naira for every dollar paid. So I believe that he then will do everything in their part to stabilize the currency. Let's talk about uh, finally your forecast for trading at the markets uh, next in the coming week, yields at the tre both treasuries and f at bonds. Oh, um, the bond option was a bridge to one. Since then, we raised about 170% of the total offered amount. And there, were, there was a lot of demand at the market. So the new supply would, would play into next year market and see more buying reductions in the bond market. However, for the it's expected to see more bearish reactions and people are not expected to continue to try to fund the liquidity gap. 